Second time around. When God, he was come fired on down up. here. Come on down here. When, when they actually asked here. me to come on down there, and it's, of course, it was before I'm done with all my jokes. I'm like, I ain't ready to come on down there yet. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> I got some more jokes I got to get in here. Then I'll nice. come on down there. And I'm sad he didn't jump on that raccoon in the commode no. conversation that Brady was he hoping he would. You, it was a conspiracy. About. Or he didn't want to admit. That yeah. that it happened or something I like that. I think in his head he was just thinking about the cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how the dare you? Trash buggies. <laughs> you just fixate on, on that. Like, how would he know? How would you know about the raccoons? Yeah. Like, oh man, I he's love trying it. to store them over at his daughter's house. Poor daughter's getting oh, the no. getting the summons now for the HOA. Oh, oh my violations. gosh! Look at these memes <laughs> we're getting. It's a little raccoon. And it's like clapping very <laughs> slowly. <laughs> yes, we got you. Do you think right. any of those uh, political signs are going to deter people when they're trick or treating, like when they're going up to houses? Deter? No, hell no, man. No, chocolate doesn't have full size. Candy, no matter give what. Me your chocolate. chocolate. Baby, yeah. You better have some full size candy bars. Kids don't give a crap about politics. No, they don't. No, they do not care. They just want the candy. And actually, there was a story yesterday that you know the chocolate manufacturers are trying to push their candy line, like their you know gummy lines and their you know ribbons and gusher lines because chocolate is so expensive. Yeah. Cocoa mm. is so expensive oh, is. that they're trying to push that you might see more candy versus chocolate. At this but, resort I was at, they, they they give you chips and candy in your room and they put snicker bars in the fridge. They're already there. Oh, Ooh. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like extra cost tempting. Like two in there. Extra tempting. I ate those probably the first day. <laughs> Did you really? How much did they cost? Nine dollars each? I don't know. It's, it's all inclusive. So, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. so you had your allotment like, of Snickers. Well, I don't know. Then I asked the boot. I'm like, uh, could you fill that back up? And I never got that one filled back up. Uh-oh. They could mm-hmm. give me the peanut M&Ms, which aren't bad, but I'm like... Yeah, but a Snickers those. satisfies. They, they were like... No, senor! No, senor! No, senor! <laughs> Eric went to <laughs> Los Cabos for the last few days. <laughs> Staying in all-inclusive. Were the drinks strong at the all-inclusive? Because that's always what you oh, hear. Yeah, the catch-all is that it's all-inclusive, but the drinks Julio aren't strong. 70. Is that and good? 1942 and Azul. And that's the fancy that's that yeah. one. That Azul's yeah. that one that looks like a... Oh, the big pretty bottle, the blue oh. and white. No, 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 that's... Oh, yeah, Class Azul. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The powdery oh, thing nice. with the bell-looking thing was on. Was it full, yeah. or was that just a prop? Oh, they're all over there. They <laughs> even there did water in there, right? <laughs> This place is called Grand Velas. Grand, Grand Velas. Velas. In Putacana. Uh, I think there might no, even be one in Puerto Vallarta, too. Oh. Puerto Vallarta, I've been in that one a couple times, and mm-hmm. the one in uh, mm. Cancun, or Riviera. Maya? Maya? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, that's north of Puerto Vallarta. Yes, don't you love Mexico? I love Mexico. I love just two hours. Yes. And you're in Two paradise of the water. And like beach. That crystal blue. Yeah, oh, especially God. like So beautiful. Like in when I got married in Cancun, mm, the water there so was pretty. just as blue as Hawaii. I'm like, why would, oh, I, go, yeah. why would I fly 10 All hours? All the way. Okay, so here's just unpopular it's actually, I think it's actually I, bluer. I, uh, I really do. Well, I think it's more like a turquoise more of a for Mexico. Blue. And it's like a deep blue for Hawaii from what I've seen. I know, Sam, you've been to Hawaii. It's Ryan, you've been to Hawaii. Hawaii. Kevin, have you been to Hawaii? Yes. Okay, Eric, you've never been to Hawaii. No, I was supposed to, but I didn't make it. And I, y'all, it's maybe I'm hungry. I have no, it's fine if I never see it. I'm sad. It's fine if I never see it. I'd rather go to Europe, go the other way. Because everyone's like, oh, Six Hawaii. I'm like, ah, uh, nine you hours. You know, I would stack yeah. Cancun up to Hawaii really any fun. day. I, I don't know. I just Sounds feel like it, am I, really am I like a, just it's, a lame that doesn't want to be on a plane for nine hours when I could it's just be on a plane for two? It's a long flight. If you're going to do that kind of a flight, I'd say go to Europe. Yeah, because my uh, the other side of me going to the or Europe Japan. side of life is I might yeah. see people that I'm related to <laughs> that I don't get to see all the time. The other way, you go, I'd stop there for like a few days and I'd want to go to like Tokyo or something. Yeah. I'd love to see Japan. I want to see what it's all about. I know. My son mm-hmm. wants to go to Japan. Mm-hmm. The Definitely. technology there. I feel like they're like... And how clean it, it is. The future, that'd be the future. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, That's- that in Dubai. Dubai is the future. Like, I've never, I've never been to that part of the world, but, I mean, they're already launching, like, flying taxis there, and it's just, like, amazing. Well, do we need that? I'm not going to the Middle East. Yeah, I ain't no, going no. anywhere in you the Middle East. Hands, we see flying know. taxis and we can't just trouble. normally drive and yeah, just smashing taxis. <laughs> yeah, now, as far as Halloween is concerned, are you guys, anybody dressing up and going to any parties? Well, we're going to dress up here for the KRBE Halloween well, I, I, party. I get Hello, that, but I'm talking not? about like nighttime parties. Um, like, are you no, doing any of that? No, it's a Thursday. I'm not going it's, out. Uh, Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday. Night. I'm just going with my kids like trick or treating. No, but the weekend before is usually when everybody. Goes I know, but what's what is that? Thursday and the weekend before it's so far away. Like I know, and then a, and then is it not weird to I mean, not go out in your Halloween costume the weekend after? But then you might be the minority going out in your costume on Friday and Saturday, even though Halloween was on Thursday. No, I would definitely go November out 1st. afterwards. I wouldn't go out the weekend before. Oh, okay. But I think I wonder, wait, Sam. Though I have to wait, look wait, this wait, up. All the club parties. Nobody be wearing costumes after Halloween. 
this one. coming week. Why would you not? Before. I feel like it's the Halloween is closer to the weekend. Yeah, so I would go the no, post it's weekend. Always before. But people are weird about dates because they're like, oh, Halloween's over. Yeah. You're like, it was yesterday. Oh, really? I don't know. So that's what I'm well, saying. Then you I guess I would up. get dressed up. You'd be like the one person in costume the weekend after. Yeah, I would definitely do the weekend after. You're a slutty nurse? No, no. I'm just dressed up. I'm just, just my, outfit. my outfit. This is, this is just what this I look like. Well, did you see regular. that stat that said that people that dress up drink 30% more? Like really? you drink more alcohol. The well, people that are in out, costume you're drink anyway. consume more alcohol. So who's not in costume? Do the Uber drivers dress up? I never had oh, that happen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, though, Eric, if my Uber Dracula. driver showed up in a mask and I went oh, that'd be so terrifying. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, the in the in yeah, no. I'm not getting in there. I'm not getting in there. The guy's wearing a mask. I'm not getting in there. Now, this time yesterday, we were doing those crazy Halloween laws. You cannot wear a mask. I think it's in uh, was it Alabama? You can't wear a mask. No, that's clergy. In one of these states, you cannot wear a mask. On clergy can't wear a mask. They can't dress yeah, up can't as dress clergy, clergy in Alabama. Uh, like you can't all, wear a priest all, outfit if you're nothing to make you to fake that you're person of the cloth in Alabama. Whole state. Huh. So things we learned yesterday about Halloween laws. Okay, so Sam's going to be on until 12, but she's got a little prize for y'all. I do. At 10 at 12, Disney on Ice, Frozen, and Encanto is coming to Houston next month. So I have a four-pack of tickets Yay. at 10, 12. I will tell you when to call, but just hang out because we got an hour of nonstop hit music. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. If there's anything you missed today on our show, you know you can find it on podcasts, wherever you like to consume your podcast. You can download our app. You can go to krbe.com. Uh, follow us on all things digital. You'll see the Rapid Fire Quiz Chaos today at 8 o'clock. I have to throw my papers up in the air. It's the First and one, I we, had, won. we had to throw this one out. This one is thrown out. It's not I'm in the book. I'm still wearing that belt. You get the victory, but everyone wearing the belt has the asterisk on it, like uh, and all because of you, Ryan Chase. Ryan's fault. Well, you did. You did your job. You can only do what you can do. But I did my job. I mean, I no, you used didn't. the you source material was Trivial Pursuit. No, you started by telling us nothing here is older than a third grader's knowledge, and then you started with part. vodka versus bourbon you know, questions. <laughs> so you're lying part. right there, liar, 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 liar. Beaties pants on fire. Liar you got liar beaties. You got liarrhea. Liarrhea. <laughs> I didn't get that. All right, Sam, have a great day. Hey, thanks for listening, Houston. We'll be back 6 o'clock Thursday morning on KRV. Bye. Bye.